Hey, what's going on guys? Today we got some interesting stuff regarding the PvE part of the game as a ton of stuff like damage versus monsters equipment, mantra scaling, and M1 scaling were all changed alongside the addition of tuned monsters. So in summary of the new addition tuned monsters, there's a chance that they'll spawn with a certain attunement and depending on the attunement, will gain certain buffs, resistance, and even weaknesses to their counterpart attunements. That being said, damage versus monsters equipment were nerfed considerably in response to mantra damage being heavily increased in an effort not to make everyone just one tap the shit out of of every monster around. As far as I've seen, some monsters so far on screen like Jellyfishes and King Threshers could apply status effects or proc ice on the ground. Now PvE side, the dual gun community finally received their quality of life changes where they can cycle with just their M1s and the offhand can now be fainted. Moving on to the content, on screen Iron Sang got a new talent called Heavy Shoulders that slows people's dodges if they got 3 or more rods. Guild customization and viewing has also been introduced in the form of emblems, similar to house invitations from Rogue Lineage. They also added a feature where if 4 or more guild members are in a server, they will be shown more easily in the server list to make finding guilds while server hopping much easier. Now onto the balancing as expected, Iron Sing received even more nerfs on screen with a slight buff to metal armament to put a cherry on top of shitty smoothie. Fade Trimmer and Glare on screen were both updated to be more tolerable and smoother to fight with. Club critical windup was reduced and Blood Scourge healing was also fixed to a 7 level gap instead of a whole 20. Flame of Denial also received a couple fixes and changes such as the talent being able to work against the Chime Storm and also guarantees a heal so multi hit attacks don't immediately knock you. Also ice skate trolls can no longer damage your ship. Also some quick hotfixes such as corrupt mobs now do 50% more damage instead of 100% more damage. Attuned mobs also only have a 50% damage resistance to their attuned element. And finally the floor is lava and no longer has hit stun. Other than that that's all I got for you guys today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.